Cheers everyone, back again with another one and in this one we're off to South London. We are off to Brixton and we have an American Pale Ale from them and we have a can of Brixton Brewery's Atlantic American Pale Ale. Super smashing great, clocking in at 5.4% ABV. Now this was picked up at Marks and Spencer. This is a channel first, because I've never done a beer from Brixton Brewery before. And apparently this brewery started in twenty in 2013 in a railway arch. I don't know if they're still there, but there you go. So I'll read the back for you. It says, Britain's, oh, Brixton's famous street market winds down Atlantic Road, brimming with exotic wares. Bold aromas and flavours compete for passing attention, a bit like our Atlantic APA. A deluge of aroma hops after the boil and generous dry hopping deliver a juicy tropical flavour. Extra pale malt keeps it crisp and lets the hops rule. So, on the website, it says it's got an IBU of 45. The hops are Magnum, Citrus, Simcoe and Galaxy. The malts is Simpsons, Marisotta, Low Colour Pale and Dextrin. And this is part of their core range. Oops, that's crack it open. Like you do. Um, I used to go to Brixton quite a bit, actually, when I was younger. Um, it's at school holidays. I didn't have anything to do in my, my summer holidays. And um, my father, he, he, he delivered glass. He works for Glassworks. And we used to, I used to jump in his wagon on a on a school day well on a holiday not a school day on a holiday day he used to jump in his wagon and he used to deliver up around brixton and that so i know brixton fairly well um anyway getting back to the beer <laughs> a slight hint of dankness there to it to it for me then you do get a little tropical fruit aroma it does smell tropical i have to say um, it does smell rather nice. Now this was in m and I, I can't remember. It was, it was on offer. I think it, oh, I can't remember now because I've had this in the other room for a while. Um, trying to think how much I paid for it. <laughs> I can't remember. It was. I remember the shop. It was in Harrogate, but I can't. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Anyway, stick that there. Be in a glass quite a pale look to this there is a film of haziness in it and a thin and white head um the aroma again you get more of a tropical fruit salad type of aroma it smells rather nice it smells rather refreshing so i'm gonna go in so cheers I like that. I like this beer because it's got a lovely, clean, slightly crisp feel in the mouth, if you know what I mean. It's, it's got, it, when you get that type of clean, crisp feel in the mouth, it, it, it just gives it such a refreshing quality. Um, and it feels very, very light for me. Taste notes I'm getting. I'm picking up hardly any bitterness for starters. I'll say there is a slight thinness regarding the ABV in this one. It does it does feel a little bit thin, but you do get lovely, gentle, tropical notes uh, in this. So I'm, you know. So a, a slight tropical pineapple, maybe, or, you know, a fruit salad feel, even, for me. It's, it's, it's got that feel, and it's very, very easy drinking. Very, very easy drinking. Um, for me, this feels like a summer beer. In the garden, dead cold. Ten of them, happy days. 
if you know what I mean. So for me, I like it. I like it because it is inoffensive in a way. There's nothing really, you know, there's nothing really breaking boundaries in taste, but it is very well brewed for me, very well, you know, balanced, if you like, in flavour, that I would return to it on a summer's day, though. Um, one more for the road. Hmm. It's pleasant enough. Boys and girls, Brixton Brewery, Atlantic APA. I highly recommend that one. Um, I think this would appeal to lager drinkers as well because there's not really big, bold flavours. So thank you very much for watching this one. As ever, your stars. And I shall see all of you again on my next one. So cheers.